Hello guys, I am back from another video and today we're talking about what if Bell had the symbiote. So in the last video we talked about how after getting to well wait for a second after being brought by his well advisor to the shop where Ophysis usually works at and also by her familiar members so they can show off well his armor and his sword all black which after well no told her like told her how to use or at least how to make a similar sword to all black they basically left as after that we move to bell basically in the dungeon as he also meets well a little girl in this case it's lily lily Ruka, something i can't remember her last name so just wait lily Ruka are they so, after seeing her getting beaten by this guy, saying that she was a thief, after, you know, basically saving her, and also thanks to the help of, um, one of the, um, employees of the, uh, hostess of fertility, they basically left off with that. So, after that, he goes back to the dungeon to do some more, well, monster hunting, as he also meets back with Lily. Lily decides to support him and also work as a supporter. So, after doing a while of like, um, you know, doing a while of like, um, you know, monster hunting and also a bit of like exploring the dungeon, well, he gives half of his valus to her, which she was happy as they basically left. But unfortunately, she gets beaten up by her own familiar members as, well, she lost all of her devalis. So yeah. So a bit of shenanigans like um happened as the end of the episode well ended. So that was basically the end of the episode right there. I mean I didn't go into full detail about what happened last time, but you can just go watch the you know, the last episode if you want. But anyway, so let's talk about what happens next so we move to bell basically going to the dungeon as he's basically with well lily as they're basically fighting off some monsters and a bit of like um well finding some other materials like for example maybe um a large piece of metal which they found nearby a skeleton yeah that's not concerning at all <laughs> So, let's go to a different perspective. In this case, a perspective on somebody else, specifically Loki. So, Loki is talking to one of the, well, wait for a second. So, Loki is talking to, well, Ina, aka Bell's, well, um, you know, advisor. Yeah. So, after a while of talking, Ina would ask, who the hell are the Soma Familia? As Loki would stop as she would say this. Well, the Soma Familia is an interesting case. Apparently they're so addicted to their god's wine that they basically became, well, kind of alcoholics. And if they were to have an opportunity of getting that, well, they would even backstab their own allies and even friends. They even killed one of each other. I meant, they even killed each other, um, sometimes, to get their own fix. <sighs> I absolutely hate that familia. But, still, his alcohol is absolutely legendary. As Ina would say, I see. So, we go back to Bell, basically, going through the dungeon with the help of Lily, as they go around some suspicious people, to say the least. Wait for a second. So, after Bell basically crosses those weird people, he thought it was just nothing that suspicious. As Lily would say this, Um, Bell, let's try and go over there, to the 10th floor. As he would say this, The 10th floor? Mm, sure, I guess I could do- Maybe I should just do it. Besides, I've been wanting to try out my magic anyway. As she would say this, Magic? So you're able to use magic now? As he would say this. Yep. So let's do it. 
So, they would go to the 10th floor as they're fighting off these weird looking monsters that resemble pig-like humanoids. After a while of fighting, Belle would also create, well, these sharp claws as these claws were coated in this brand new magic that he learned, known as Firebolt. And yes, it's just like in canon, but except he has the symbiote so it's basically enhanced. So, after a while of fighting, they would decide to go back to the surface, but they were ambushed. This ambush was the thanks of this guy, aka the guy that was being, well, an asshole to Lily. As Bell would say this, wait, you're the guy that, as he would say this, yep, but unfortunately, I'm gonna get what I deserve, and that, this. As he would start charging towards her, as she would get something out of her, or at least like something from her neck, as he would say this. Ah, oh, finally my necklace. Now, for the rest of you are going to die here. <sighs> say uh, as he starts leaving, as Belle would start chasing, chasing him with the help of Lily. But, let's go back to that guy. That guy was, well, in a pickle. In this case, thanks to the Soma Familia, the Soma of a fil I meant, the Soma Familia would basically capture him as they would say this. Sorry, but, well, we no longer want to work with you. Besides, we need to get our fill of that Soma. So, see ya. And, by the way, those ants over there, they'll have a nice feast with your corpse as they start leaving as this guy was being eaten by those ants being torn apart and turned into a meal as for Belle and well Lily they were surrounded by them as Belle would start using his magic on them saying firebolt as he starts shooting them with this arm basically the one that resembles more like the black dragon as he starts coating his blade aka all black in the blade, I meant in the fire, as he starts slicing them apart, basically turning them into nothing but, you know, roasted, well, you know, ants. After a while of fighting them, Eyes would kind of feel like something is happening, as she would request, well, Loki to let her go somewhere else, in this case the dungeon, as when she made it there, she saw Belle and well, wait first, Lily, that they are okay, as eyes would feel kind of inferior, as Belle would say this, um, what are you doing here? As she would say this, oh, I thought you were in trouble, so, as he would say this, do you think that I'm weak? I meant, do you think that I'm weak? Uh, sorry, um, actually... I don't even remember your name, so, as she would say this, uh, so you don't even know my name? I'm Ina, or, not Ina, I meant, I'm Eyes Wollenstein, the Sword Princess. As Belle would just be confused, as Belle would say this, oh, that Sword Princess, sorry, I kind of forgotten. Well, let's just say Eyes would just be, well, just kind of being sad inside. And also, she kind of has a crush on him after, you know, seeing all of the damage that he did. As Belle would say this, Um, sorry, so I should be leaving. Hey, Lily, do you want to get those monster cores? As she would say this, oh, yeah. As they started leaving, as eyes would just be, you know, dumbfounded. Even though she doesn't look like it, she's kind of dumbfounded inside. So... Outside, Belle is basically talking to, you know, her, as Belle would say this. Hey, um, wait for a second. Hey, Lily, as Lily would say this. Um, yeah? I want you to join our familia. As Lily would say this. Really? As he would say this. Yeah, maybe the goddess would probably like it. Besides, she's been looking for some new members for a while now. As she would say this. So, 
she wants me to join? As he would say this. Yep, just let me convince her, okay? As he would smile, as Lily would start blushing, as she would say this. Uh, thank you. Uh, mm, as he would say this. Alright, let's go. As she would say this. Wait, now? As he would say this. Um, yeah, we can just go now. Or if you can, uh, or if you want, we can just do this later or tomorrow. As she would say this. Um, uh, um, guess I'll join with you. As she starts um coming with him to the broken down church, aka their well base of operations. So, we moved to well a conversation in the wait for a second. We moved to the well, Hestia Familia, as, well, Hestia would say this. So, you decided to join my Familia just because of Belle? As, she would say this. Um, yeah, and I want to join because, you know, the Soma Familia. As, she would hear this. As, she would say this. Wait, you, you brought a Soma Familia member and decided... Oh my god. As Belle would say this, yeah, she decided to just join with us. Apparently, she didn't want to join them anymore. As she would say this, ah, I see. So, you want to join the Hestia Familia then? Very well. But, there's going to be some rules. One of them is you're not allowed to touch Belle. As she would say this, what? What do you mean by that? As she would say this, well, because Belle and I have a serious relationship, and I would not let you, you know, stealing him away. As she would say this. Hmm, fine. As she would grab Belle's arm, as Belle would say this. Uh, what are you doing? As, well, Hestia would say this. Hmm. As she would start getting mad, as she would grab Belle's arm, as they would start fighting over him. As Null would come out, as Null would say this. It seems such a quite popular with some girls right now. <laughs> as Bell would say this, but uh, I'm not ready for that. As Null would say this. Hmm. Either way, we should probably go to the dungeon. Actually, not the dungeon for now. You're actually quite tired, I'm guessing. As he would say this. Um, yeah. So... As Null would say this, Hmm, I know. How about you go to the guild? We've been wanting to, you know, expand our base for a while now. So why not sell off these monster cores that we saved up for a while now? So, Bell would basically get out of that situation as he brought all of these monster cores to the guild as he gets a lot, and I, I mean a lot, of Valus. So, when he starts leaving, he sees Eyes and Ina basically talking. As Eyes looks over and sees Belle, well, she wants to talk to him, but Belle doesn't want to talk to her after that whole situation. Because he kind of feels, well, well, embarrassed after forgetting her name. Because he thinks that, well, Eyes is kind of angry at him. So, when he starts leaving, well, Wait for a second. So, Eyes would accidentally, well, jump into the air and accidentally slam her face onto Bell's. Yeah, you probably know where this is going. Yeah, the way they were posed, let's just say, oh god. Everybody that's like in the, well, guild saw that as they think, the hell? As Belle would say this, uh, I'm sorry, as Eyes would say this, I want you to talk to me for a second. It's nothing really that major, so, as Belle would say this, uh, fine, okay, just get off of me. So, Belle would talk to Eyes, as Belle wants to train with Belle, because after seeing him fight in the dungeon, she wants to see how strong he is. So, they would go to the largest, or at least the, um, 
the most safest place to be for training and also somewhere that's not really noticeable being the top of one of the walls as she would say this so are you ready and it's basically early in the morning as Belle would say this so what do you want me to do use my claws or as she would say this I want you to use your sword okay as Belle would say this sure as Belle would summon all black as he starts getting ready into a battle stance as Belle would say this are you ready as she would say this ready as they started charging in at each other Belle would start clashing swords with each other as while they were fighting Freya is also watching this as she would say this ah, Belle Kernel how interesting how absolutely interesting you have the powers of a foreign god a god from another world and you're able to use its powers pretty much easily I can't wait for you to be mine and only mine now let's see what you're doing wait for a second so after a while of fighting Belle would basically stop as Belle would say this <sighs> that's a good warm-up so how are you doing um as he would see well <laughs> let's just say eyes is pretty much tired even though she doesn't look like it she's kind of tired as she would say this um bell maybe we should stop for now we can just train later okay as bell would say this um sure are you okay as she would say this no i'm fine <sighs> as Belle would say this okay anyway see ya as Belle would leave as eyes would be even more interested in trying to fight him because he's not a normal kid not only that he stand toe to toe with the sword princess and didn't get beaten so Let's go back to Belle, or should I say, not Belle, because we're going to be moving to a different perspective this time. This time in the dungeon. So we move to one of Freya's, well, well, Freya's members, or familiar members, in this case, Oter, as he's basically training a Minotaur to become stronger, and much more deadlier. So yeah. Um, I just watched the episode last time, and it's mostly filled with harem fillers, so let's just say after Belle basically came back home, just like in the anime, basically things happened just like in the anime, but with a bit of touches, like um, one time Null basically came out as everybody was just like confused saying, the heck is that? Ashley thought it was a monster, as Null would explain that he's a foreign god. As they did know that another god existed that was unknown and apparently fused with this guy, but they thought it was just weird and thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah. So, anyway, um, let's continue. So, after a while now, he came back to the, you know, to the guild as he sees a poster saying that Eyes Wollenstein, aka one of the members of the Freya Familia, not Freya Familia, I meant the Loki Familia, basically became level 6. I think that I, I think that's supposed to be level 6. I can't remember, but... And also defeated a floor... A floor... Um, I think it was like level... Um, let me check. A floor 37 boss all by herself. As when Bell heard of this, he just decides to just think, huh, she's quite powerful. Hmm, Let me, let's see if I'm pretty much um, stronger now ever since I started training with her. So, he goes back to his familia, as Belle would tell, um, well, his, well, goddess, aka Hestia, to check out his stats. After seeing his stats, well, 
she would be impressed. As when Bell saw it, he saw that he's now a level 5, or at least negative 5 this time. As she would say this, So you're level negative 5, that means that you're technically a level 5 now. As Noel would come out as he says this, I think so. Hmm. So you're one level lower than Eyes. Yeah. <sighs> Alright. I guess we can train with Miss Eyes now. Right, Belle? As Belle would say this. Um, sure. As, well... Wait, wait for a sec. As Hestia would say this. Hmm. And don't get any funny ideas, Belle. I don't want you getting corrupted by that... Loki familiar girl, okay? As Belle would say this. Um, what do you mean by that? As she would say this. Oh, nothing. Just don't get... You know. As Belle would start to leave. So, after a while of training, Eyes would start, well, falling to the floor as she says this. How are you this strong? Huh. She's kind of tired. As Belle would say this. Well, I think it's because of Null being fused with him. As Null would say this. Yes. I am, after all, a god. And a god is quite powerful, making me, basically, a power source for Bell, making him stronger and stronger as he went. So now, he's basically powerful enough to beat one of the floor bosses. Maybe even two. Hmm. Right, Bell. As Bell would say this, you don't really need to toot my own horn. As he would say this, be, not he, I meant she. As in, Miss Eyes, as Eyes would say this, I see. So, are you going to be leaving now? As Belle would say this, yeah, I'm pretty tired for the day. So, see ya, Eyes. As Eyes would say this, bye. As he leaves. So, he would go somewhere else, specifically to... So... Belle would start going to the dungeon with the help of, well, Lily. So, after a while going to the dungeon, killing some monsters, well, it was pretty much easy for him. But, until a Minotaur would appear. The one that Otar, aka, well, the, um, the captain of the Freya Familia, or was it like, just a higher ranking member, I guess? I can't remember, but still. Otar's well-trained Minotaur would start charging towards Bell, as Bell would start dodging it, as Lily would get knocked out by getting punched in the face by the Minotaur. Even though she got damaged, but it didn't kill her. But Bell, let's just say, Bell was pretty pissed as he transformed into his well, you know, this form, aka his well armored form. Let's go to let's go to a different perspective. When Eyes was treating some, or at least the Loki familia would see some like injured, well, familia members, they would start healing them as they were told that, well, some Minotaur, or at least one Minotaur in particular, was pretty much stronger than any of them that they can handle. And apparently, a boy and a girl, well, decided to go in as, well, they think that they're going to be killed, as one of them being Bet would say this. Are you serious? Ah, just leave them to die. Besides, they're weak. As she remembered that Belle was actually going to go to the dungeon. As she thinks that they're going to be fighting that Minotaur. So, because she thinks that Belle is going to be defeated by it, she starts charging towards that area as it starts following her. So, wait for a second. So... Bell would start fighting the Minotaur with in in his like armored form, transforming his claws into sickle-like weapons resembling well, kind of like um arms of like a praying mantis. As he starts slicing at the um Minotaur, as his arm would get impaled by the Minotaur's horn. As the rest of the Loki familia would see this, as Bet would see Bell being well beaten by a Minotaur, as Bet would just say this, 
Hey, kid, just let us handle this. Just go back to the sidelines. As Bell would just look at them with his beaming red eyes. As the Loki Familia would start getting scared. As Bell would just bring out all black again. As it starts getting coated in the black fire. As black electricity would start rolling around it. But it starts glowing a faint bit of red. As Bell would say this. Take this. Firebolt! As he starts shooting it. Almost like a gun. As the Minotaur would get shot over and over and over again. Bell would... St would still shoot at it as Bell would start transferring his arms into sharp claws and start rolling, not really rolling, more like running on all fours as he starts slashing at it so fast that, rare, that almost all of the Loki Familia members would not even see it. Even Eyes would not even see this. He's really fast as Bell would start flying overhead with black and red wings as Bell would start charging up a fireball again but this time with Zans, as he starts shooting at him, like at the Minotaur, multiple times, as Bell would charge forward, as he puts his hand onto the chest of the Minotaur, as he says this, FIRE INFERNO, as this is an upgraded version of Firebolt, and this version of Firebolt is a bit different, Several, well, tentacles would come out of his arm as they would stab into the Minotaur, wrapping around him as electricity and fire would start blasting in through his body as it starts, well, well, you know, you know balloons are, um, you know, like that. Just imagine him start puffing up like a balloon as he explodes into guts and blood. He basically exploded. Several of the Minotaur's body parts would basically be all over the place. Lily would see this, including the rest of the familiar members, as Bell would just grab the core of the Minotaur as he starts walking out with, well, with Lily on his arm. Or at least, like, on his back, as Bell would look over Bet and says this. Calling me weak again, and I'll throw you just like that, Minotaur. Got it, cunt! As his eyes would start beaming blood red, as Bet would never be this afraid before, he feels like... like a monster. A monster that's even greater than, well, the well floor um, boss, or the floor bosses, has appeared right in front of him. And that floor boss, or that floor boss looking creature, was Bell. Every single member of the Loki Familia would be afraid. Except for one, being, well, the, you know, um, one of the twins of the, like, one of the, um, Amazon twins. In this case, the other one, I think her name was like, um, Tiona, yeah. When she saw Belle doing that, well, she gets, well, you know, hot and bothered. Because after all, well, they like strong males, and if they find a strong male, they would be a good partner. So, yeah, that Amazon, Tiona, let's just say now she has a crush on Belle. So, Belle would come out of the dungeon as he's turned back into his normal form. Everybody would just be afraid. As Bell would come back to... Well, you know, wait for a sec. So, Bell would just stumble on into the... You know, into um, Hestia's crib. Or should I say, well, Hestia's home. Or their, like, um, familiar base or whatever you want to call it. As Hestia would see Belle in this bad condition, as she would say this, Belle, what happened to you? Are you okay? As Lily would say this, no, he tried to save me, and I think he's um, tired and hurt. 
as Bell would fall down onto the floor, basically bleeding. One of his arms is basically punctured by the horn of, you know, the Minotaur. As Bell would be knocked out. So, Bell would basically close his eyes as it's basically the end of the episode. Sorry, it is going to be the end of the episode. So, yeah. Let's just say, um, well, um, Hestia would bring him to his bed as, yeah, this is going to be the actual end of the episode. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, I'm sorry I didn't make, um, more, well, you know, more time for this episode, but sorry, I'm gonna be doing more episodes next time, so, yeah. So, this is going to be the end of the episode, and so, I hope you liked the video, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye!